Welcome back to your 5-Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Fellis. It's Monday, December 12, 2011. Today, we're talking about Kansas City Chiefs firing head coach Todd Haley. The NFL is busy investigating the Cleveland Browns for their handling of Colt McCoy's head injury. Good. They should because he, he took a big one uh, to the head. What? Exactly. Uh, Tim Tebow does his thing again. again. And we celebrate Mr. 2000 on Facebook. Thank you. 2000 likes. We'll get to that. <laughs> But first, Jeffrey. What a week! Week fourteen is virtually in the books. We still got tonight's game. Which no, is we really don't. It's horrible those guys. Game. Yeah, they're it's, terrible. It's, doesn't count. Doesn't mean anything. But still, Jeffrey, the Houston Texans. We want to congratulate them making the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Nice job. Amazing that it took this long to make the playoffs. But couldn't be happier for you. I just want to know. Do you know who guaranteed it? This guy guaranteed it, which much. is pretty crazy given they've never done it. New Orleans <laughs> Saints, they also punched their playoff ticket. That makes four teams in the playoffs now. The Giants decided that the NFC East race would be a two-horse race. And head coach has been fired. We'll start with that one. Ugh. Todd Haley, head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. No. He's been let go by the Kansas Jeff, my only question Three games left in the season. Why do this now? To humiliate the man. You, the man has done nothing for you that you have liked. Yes, he won the AFC West last year. However, there has been nothing but tension between Scott Pioli, the general manager, and Todd Haley, and they wanted to uh, do anything they could to embarrass him. Well, maybe his 19-27 and 27 record over just two and a half, two-plus years uh, maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe it had something to do with it. But uh, Romeo Cornell has now been promoted to interim I head coach, interim head coach of the Kansas City, uh, the, sorry, the Kansas City the Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. I, I was still I stuck back HC, on the is that what you're, IHC? Well, that was what Steve Jobs did, interim was, was I CEO, remember? <laughs> oh, that was where the whole right. I thing started. There you go. Well, IHC, interim head coach, Romeo Cornell. Romeo, who you know used to coach the Cleveland Browns, at least he knows how to head coach. And where far art thou, Romeo? You're now the interim head coach. There you go. Jeffrey. NFL investigating the Cleveland Browns, and I couldn't be happier Speaking about of this. those Cleveland Browns. Colt McCoy suffered a devastating hit at the hands of, who else? James Harrison of the Pittsburgh Steelers in that Thursday night loss, 14-3 to uh, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jeffrey, but he, hit the, he came out for a, about a series, and then he came back into the game. And that's what the NFL is investigating. When he came out for a series, they looked at his hand. Now, we're not dissing on James Harrison or anything like that. That's the league's position to decide what they're going to do with James Harrison. However, when you're looking at a guy's hand and his eyes are kind of doing this, somebody over there needs to realize what happened on the field. Somebody needs to go, this player obviously took a blow to the head. Even if he's not complaining about it, somebody needs to be. That is, that is an NFL mandate right now, and it's, yeah. it was ignored. Pat Shermer has come out and said that uh, McCoy didn't show any symptoms of a concussion until after the football game. You know what? After that hit, your job should have been able to go out and look for those symptoms. The NFL plans to speak with the Cleveland Browns, and right now early reports indicate that this was a blatant system failure by the Cleveland Browns to not – Cole McCoy's father has come out and blasted yes, the Cleveland Browns. Because Colt this. doesn't remember anything after that hit. This is the same organization that you could get like scabies in the locker room. Oh, it's a staff it, infection. Staff whatever. Infection. They're things that you should not get at a team facility. Yeah, that's right. And they need to be taking better care of their players. This is wrong. That's all there is to it. When a quarterback doesn't remember the end of the game, think about what that means. What kind of trauma yeah. he took to the brain. Hey, hey Colt, uh, remember that last drive? Oh, uh, you see what happened? Yeah. Well, yeah. No he, excuse. That's, that's not 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 good. Tim Tebow's out doing his thing again. again. That's right. Stop this me is, if you've heard this one. This is becoming old hat, Jeff. It is. It's almost becoming not news. Tim Tebow goes, oh, they're down ten points. Oh, there's four and a half minutes left. I need a touchdown that and a field leads, goal. That leads us to this. We have a new definition here in NFL Rants Rave Live, and the definition for Tebow time. That is the final five minutes of any game being played in the NFL by the Denver Broncos. Pretty much. Steven tweeted that last <laughs> night, and I laughed. I haven't even told I'm you. Glad, I, I very much left. appreciated this new uh, definition. Tebow time. Tebow that's time. what it is. But, Jeffrey, I just want to point this out to everybody watching. In the last eight weeks, since Tebow has become the starter of the Denver Broncos, he is 7-1. 
No other quarterback except Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers have a better record. Yeah, Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, he's there at seven and one. He's also seven and one in that but period. Tom Brady six and two. Drew Brees six and two. Eli Manning he put himself in the elite quarterback status. I was gonna say he's he's special. Four four. He's elite. Well, he's four and four. Okay. His big brother is O. Peyton Manning. O and O. I mean. <laughs> You can't blame Peyton for Tim that. Tim Tebow is winning games. And as Sam Farmer, buddy of the show, said, Jeffrey, you can't spell Tebow without, without W. That I was mean, pretty that's, funny. That was. Otherwise, you have Tebow. Finally, Jeffrey, sounds the same. for our 100th episode of 5-Minute Football Fix, we would like to thank Lee G- Gardner. Garden A. Gardner. 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 <laughs> Lee, Gardner. Uh, however you pronounce your last name, thank you for becoming this our 2,000th. <clears throat> Facebook like. You're Mr. 2000. It's our 100th show. It's been fun doing this for you. We've only got, I think, 1,999,000 more to go. 100,000. Okay. I'm Stephen Miranda. Jeff Ellis. For your five-minute football fix. Out. Out.